Hello and welcome to Exchange for Media D2C Revolution. We have with us today the co-founder of Femtech brand Serona, Deep Bajaj. Hi Deep, thank you for joining us today. Hi Zoni, it's always nice to speak to you guys. So Deep, I'll dive straight in, right? Femtech as a category is very new and the D2C business model when Serona was founded was very new, which is 2014 if I'm not wrong. Uh, just talk us through the journey of Serona all through these years, the ups and downs, pre-pandemic, post-pandemic. What have you seen like significantly change? <laughs> well, it's been a long journey to cover, but uh, I'll say that we started with one product. We looked at one problem that Indian women were facing back then, which is the lack of clean toilets. And we started with Peabody as our first product, which became India's first stand-in pee device for women. And uh, back back in the days, this term D2C was also not coined as what is coined today. You know, we're just a business trying to sell and uh, and online was just uh, coming around here. Marketplaces were just opening uh, to, to get customers' confidence. So we tried our hands at making the product available at offline stores. And, and back in the days, or even now, you know, for, for brands to enter offline stores, it's a very different animal. Uh, so it took us a while to get it off you know, offline, but online started ticking. And, you know, as one product started to get traction, uh, we realized that there is this entire market where women in India are suffering from a lot of unaddressed intermittent menstrual hygiene issues, which nobody is solving. So we thought we should, we should do something about it. So from toilets, we moved to periods. And uh, after that, kept uh, looking at other solutions which were not available. And today, Serona is known for solving a lot of uh, problems which were not solved before us for women, right from puberty to menopause. So what has changed back in the days, it was more about learning the platform, uh, you know, making your own playbook, uh, finding people who you were training and, uh, and, and uh, growing with them. While now uh, in the last few years, uh, you know, market has changed. There are a lot newer brands. The talent is easy to find now. Uh, people are far more open to transact online, but uh, for us, uh, at the office, in our heart, uh, it's, it's still day zero where we are saying, let's keep solving problems for women and uh, keep bringing uh, innovative products, whether it's physical products or technology products. Interesting, you know, uh, you mentioned about the feminine hygiene and wellness products, right? But what, you know, I also came across is that you've also forayed into the sexual wellness category with some acquisitions in the recent past, yes. uh, yeah. right? Can can you give us more insights into that? What triggered this uh, expansion? So, you know, it is, uh, it's, it, it just fits in very well with the brand uh, philosophy. We are saying we want to break the stigma that exists around, you know, female hygiene issue. There's a lot of stigma as a world's, most populous country, which, which, so sex is not, uh, you know, in dearth, but as topics, it's not discussed, uh, especially for women, you know, they're very, the only product will be cotton at best. Uh, same is the case with periods, right? There is no dialogue around it. So Serona, uh, you know, it's the, the journey that we are trying to solve is right from puberty to menopause. And we are identifying gaps that exist around this journey, uh, which, which puts women at a disadvantage. And if there are product solutions uh, for them, uh, they can they can operate far better. So toilets, dirty toilets, stand in pee. We have pee body stand in pee. We have toilet seat covers. We have toilet deodorizers. When she starts her periods, uh, you know she hits puberty or after when she uh, starts uh, on a, a monthly cycles, then she needs products which are which go beyond pads. But I'm talking about 15, 16. Pura dialogue was around pads, you know. So we we started talking about use of tampons with applicator. We introduced menstrual cups, which today 2 million women are using it. Serona menstrual cups, we are highest selling menstrual cups. We started solving other period related problems, you know, like period pain. There were only solutions like hot water bottle painkiller. We came up with India's first herbal period pain relief patch. There were nothing available for rashes that women get in the intimate areas, while for kids, there were always baby diaper rash creams. So we came up with India's first anti chaffing uh, rash cream for women, you know. Uh, was the camp in national television, but nothing for period stain. So we came up with India's first, you know, period stain remover. And we were just looking at solving these problems in similar buckets when we stumbled upon this uh, sexual wellness as, as a category for women, which is an intimate issue. But uh, there were no condoms which were uh, made from, from women's point of view, you know. So uh, we realized that condoms have uh, benzocaine, they have other protein uh, levels are high, which goes and, uh, you know, impacts... Uh, the vaginal fluids and creates issues for women which were not even discussed very openly 
So uh, one idea was to to you know innovate on our own. Second was to to see if somebody's already solved that problem, and we join hands. So that's where we saw this uh, brand called Blue, which is India's first uh, vegan uh, condom brand certified uh, brand. And we thought uh, you know it'll be it'll make perfect sense for us to bring it into the fold. So now we are saying we are looking at toilets, we are looking at puberty, we are looking at your sexual wellness, at maternity, whatever problems you face, and we're trying to solve them with product. That's where it got in. And in a similar flow, you know, when we launched India's first period tracker on WhatsApp, the same philosophy was followed that when it comes to tracking period or, or you know, tracking evolution, you don't need to necessarily download Serona app while we have the Serona app. But because we are core, the core is to solve problem for customers from customer's point of view, we realize what if she doesn't want to have my app and the problem can be very comfortably solved on WhatsApp. So we created uh, India's first, it was perhaps world's first period tracker on, on WhatsApp. So in the same breath, uh, Blue was acquired uh, because it was an unaddressed issue, which we thought we could talk about it at scale. Lovely about the, you know, listening to the WhatsApp uh, tracking uh, bit, you know, because, you know, different channels can be leveraged to reach. So coming to the channels bit itself, what channel are you, def you know, more heavy on when you're talking to your audience and what's the marketing, you know, spends like happening there? So, you know, we are strong on marketplaces, followed by our website, and now a little bit of offline is what we started. We also sell internationally. So those are the few channels from where we sell. Uh, and marketing depends, honestly, very channel-wise. But uh, we ship some 4 lakh orders every month as of now. And uh, I think we're still scratching the surface here. We are yet to reach to uh, the tier two, tier three towns in the way we want to, right? I mean, obviously, uh, with Amazon, Flipkart, Nike, me shows of the world, you're delivering products everywhere. But I think these some of these products need to be available offline uh, for it to really scale to the level where we believe we can be. Right. Can you can you give us uh, some more insight into you know the share of D two C versus the share of e commerce uh, when it comes to your uh, distribution? Well, so uh, out of whatever number we do, uh, we do about 70% from uh, marketplaces, 10 to 15% comes from D2C and offline is a small part right now. Perfect. And uh, what is, you know, you have been in this space for quite some while, you know, now, and uh, the world has seen a, con you know, complete transformation since then. What are you perceiving the entire D2C domain as right now? How has that space sort of, you know, built itself or the clutter has increased? What, what is the domain looking like right now to you? I think it's a very interesting time uh, for, for anybody who wants to start a D2C brand uh, to look at it. Because, you know, what technology has done, uh, it has taken up. So internet is everywhere today. You know, mobile phones are on every hand. Uh, uh, and there is a reasonable amount of awareness that people have around any topic you know today if you want to learn about like menstrual cup for example back in the days when we started talking about there were barely any discussion around so you created a lot of videos today those videos have hundreds and thousands of views you know which are coming from tier two tier three towns so people are inquisitive so technology has taken awareness content to the last mile logistics also if you look at it there is such advancement that has happened in terms of you know if you have a product it can be delivered to any part of the country uh, and then obviously there are marketplaces which are uh, enabling uh, the ecosystem to do better. There is also a rise in disposable income, so which means that consumers are also willing to, you know, try uh, more than I mean, try other than the regular products that they're used to buying. So very interesting times, and I think this is just the it's still the beginning. Uh, we are uh, we still scratching the surface uh, as it when it comes to the brands. I think there'll be far newer brands. There'll be brands which will be known for niches, micro niches also, and. Uh, because uh, you know, uh, internet facilitates it. I don't see any reason why the sector should not do well. Okay, and you know, Deep, you're also bang at the beginning of the festive season, right? What are we expecting from? What should we expect from Sirona over here? What do we expect it to see? You know, we, we, you know, you're not big on going big on the festive season. What's your plan? Well, uh, all guns blazing. Yeah, we are excited about some new launches. Uh, we'll share it closer to the date. Uh, we have already, you know, planned our inventory. Our spends are in line. Our campaigns are lined up. So this Diwali time especially becomes one of the most uh, sought-after timing for the D2C brand. So excited to to look at 
uh, the season this time and i'm assuming it's going to be amazing because there's so many newer platforms also that have come in you know last till about a couple of years ago it was only about flipkart uh, amazon nike but now there are so many newer quick commerce uh, players who are who are doing exceptionally well so this will be interesting here for us you mentioned the line that said diwali is uh, a very sought after time for d2c brands why do you say so well there's a lot of traffic uh, additional advertising that every everybody is doing the the mood is high uh, you know and uh, people are looking to spend buy stuff renovate all of that happens around the time it's also the wedding season so all in all you know it's, it's onset of good good mood i would say which uh, has a spell of on online book buying and uh, there are only newer you know buyers getting added to uh, to the online shopping world every year um so yes uh, that's why I'm excited are you are you planning to up your uh, spends this second half of the year um as compared to the first half yeah it is it's it's usually in line with uh, uh, the season so yes we we are parking uh, our some campaigns specifically around the festive season right you you know uh, you just also mentioned about you know how tech the role tech is playing can you give us some insight on where does tech stand for serona uh, in terms of uh, reaching your consumers and in terms of getting consumer insights as well so it plays a very important role uh, good lab group has a very strong tech team uh, back end team which which can uses the data uh, like uh, you know no second that i know of at least so there is an app that serona has today uh, thousands of women are asking questions almost every day on topics that are are, are difficult to find answers for uh, outside you know because you don't want to discuss too much of your intimate needs on uh, on on public forums so when you look at uh, it's a it's a closed network it's a it's a community our sister community is going every every day uh, there are whatsapp groups where women are getting answers to their questions so technology that way is playing an integral part and now obviously the whatsapp period tracker that we have is also bringing a lot of newer customers uh, to serona and at the same time help them track their periods uh, effortlessly uh, and i think going forward whether it is for serona or ever, whatever technological advancements are happening it is only going to be a boon for the d2c ecosystem um, so exciting times ahead and uh, you know i also wanted to get to know about your localization plan so uh, the category you are in it's more something that an urban consumer say would know about right uh, than say a tier 2 or tier 3 what sort of response are you seeing from those towns and uh, how you, how are you sort of communicating with that audience so vernacular is a big part of our uh, business it always has been uh, not more from uh, you know because when you look at the kind of topics serona deals and they are all taboo you know there is a lot of hush hush around uh these topics so and and we believe one of the ways you can break a taboo is by talking about it so we've been uh, we've been ardent believers in creating content around these topics in multiple languages uh the press release is also that we do we try to have strong vernacular angle to it so i i see that uh, shall shall continue for us and uh, and that is uh, the going to be the focus of the brand as well for now to say that tier 2 tier 3 towns uh, there is there is if if they have the awareness uh, there is a lot of willingness to try when we track our orders they're coming from all over yes metros do contribute to majority of them but it's also because you know people have moved from tier 2 tier 3 towns to cities to work doesn't mean that uh, the demand from there is less so that the the earning audience is not there or they younger right now uh, and the ones who are there as long as they get to know about the products are willing to try otherwise you know i mean look at there are 20 lakh women using serona menstrual cups today which about 5 years 6 years ago was not even a category that existed you know when we started pushing it so and it's the demand has come from all over tbody gets demand from all over you know uh, we recently we also acquired a pepper spray brand where also we are uh, surprised to see you know demand coming in from you know the remotest parts of of the country today and i think it's also because you know women might be traveling back to their hometowns and then they want these products so Uh, i mean to, to just say that it's a urban phenomena as of now is wrong yes when it comes to market places the the convenience is to get it delivered to your primary uh, place of uh, stay uh, but when as people travel the demands come from all over uh, yeah but uh, are you uh, sort of building on any initiatives to you know build uh, awareness among yeah. these uh... So it's an ongoing thing for us. We also run a foundation, you know, where we work with the underprivileged women. We are on a mission to end period poverty and gender inequality, which which happens pan India. 
you know, we work with uh, the most underprivileged as well as the most underserved uh, communities. And uh, they, through that, anyways, we are talking about, you know, the importance of sustainable menstrual hygiene practices. Uh, at Serona, at the brand level, uh, there are content, there is content being created uh, regularly in multiple languages to ensure that uh, people who are not very well versed with English as the primary language or Hindi do not get left out because of lack of right content. So it's an ongoing part of our existence at Serona that we need to educate our customers. We need to empower them with the right knowledge, we need to empower them with the right products, right reviews. And uh, rest, I think the magic happens when you have a great team. Right, Deep. Also, there's an interesting point that I wanted to ask. Your core TG is women, uh, mm-hmm. you know, our women consumers, right? Do you sort of get any, so any, you know, the, or do you sort of notice a trend where you get the male consumers as well? Um, yeah, you know, well, just uh, like... well, I think uh, initially it was in fact funny that we used to get a lot of men asking us that, hey, you're men trying to solve women related problems. And I said, you know, it's not a gender thing. Uh, do we get men? Yeah, I think there are there are there are questions from men also that comes in. You know, there are questions where uh, you know thoughtful boyfriends, husband, brothers have asked around. You know, uh, hey, can you tell me more about your period pain patches? You know, my sister or my daughter or whoever you know has uh, has been facing this problem. Is that a lot of volume? Uh, not uh, yet, but it is a very welcome uh, percentage that you know, men are also inquiring about these and they want to solve these problems for their women, which is the destination that Sirona is chasing. Like that's our blue star, uh, you know, that we keep, uh, not star, I'm sorry, that we keep chasing that uh, a country where, you know, everybody talks about these issues, how we talk about any other uh, issue like education, you know, so it's not a man versus woman topic. So this, this needs to be normalized in the same breath. The, the change has started to happen. There are men asking. But we still have far more women, uh, you know, who are, uh, because they, they're, they're suffering directly. So so they are, you know, seeking solutions. Only a, a small percentage of men, but it's it's rising. Yeah, but the key lies in, you know, breaking the taboo and yeah. getting everyone to speak about it, right? Absolutely. As long as you normalize this, you know, which is which is precisely what we were even trying to do with our recent project that we took, which we launched you now with, with the, the Delhi Airport guys. Delhi you know? Airport. Yeah, you know, and, and we said that, you know, it will be amazing if these products are kept outside the washrooms and not inside. Let, let's normalize it, right? Like why Pepsi, Coke, cans are spread everywhere. Why can, you know, the hygiene products not be placed similarly at the point where it's required? Right? So right. that's how Sirona thinks in, in everything that we do, where we are saying, you cannot solve this problem by saying, hey, I only have the product, but listen, I'll send it in brown paper. No, it needs to be... It needs to actually be be delivered, if possible, uh, you know, as is, you know, uh, it is a natural phenomenon. So why do we keep it under wraps? So yes, the more we talk about it, the more the taboo goes away. Great. And lastly, Deep, anything that we should expect from Serona in the coming, you know, months, uh, anything significant, <laughs> future plans, expansion plans, whatever. You'll be the first ones we'll inform. But yes, keep uh, keep watching this space. There are some very interesting products we are launching. There are some new initiatives uh, like the uh, airport one. It's live at Terminal 2, very soon coming to Terminal 3. Similar uh, stories uh, to, to help our consumers, to help our customers live a better life. Super. I think that was indeed a great conversation, Deep. We got to know a lot about breaking the taboo and a lot of interesting facts as well. Thank you. Thank you for being with us here today. And thank you, audience, for joining in. Thank you so much.